Hey guys, today I'm here with the latest in my series of web browser comparison tests. This time focusing not only on speed, but also the interface and features of each browser. This time almost every single browser in the field has been updated since my last test, with Chrome jumping all the way to version 9, quite a few new betas of Firefox 4 complete, our first look at Internet Explorer 9, an alpha of the very promising Opera 11, and lastly, Safari 5. To begin with, let's take a look at arguably the most important feature of a browser, which is speed. I've condensed my normal series of tests down to three, so let's begin with the SunSpider JavaScript benchmark. SunSpider is a great overall test of JavaScript speed, which is crucial in today's browsers. In this test, Chrome and Opera finished in a dead heat, with Internet Explorer 9 putting up a very impressive showing and Safari and Firefox rounding out the rear. Next, I ran all five browsers through the Peacekeeper benchmark. Peacekeeper is a great overall browser test that checks a large variety of different factors to determine the scores. Backing up the previous test, you can see that Opera and Chrome handily beat all competitors, with Safari and Firefox only managing about half the respective scores, and Internet Explorer 9 finishing even further behind. The next test I ran was the Internet Explorer 9 fish tank. This test relies on HTML5 and GPU acceleration to animate 500 fish. As you might expect, Internet Explorer 9 won this test. However, Chrome was impressively just a single frame per second behind. Firefox 4 was behind somewhat, even with the recent addition of GPU acceleration. However, it was still much better than Opera, which choked along in just a mere 3 frames per second. Rounding out the rear was Safari, which flat out refused to run the test at all with 500 fish. When just looking at it from the standpoint of speed, the clear winner is Google Chrome. Of course, however, speed isn't the only factor when deciding which browser to use, so let's move on to the interface of each browser. In this test, I simply measured how much screen real estate each browser takes up. Of course, each browser is customizable as far as toolbars, etc. go. However, here I simply measured how many vertical pixels each browser took with two tabs open. As you can see, Internet Explorer and Chrome both did very well, only taking 57 and 59 pixels respectively. Safari did decently as well, however, the lack of an option to put the tabs up top hurt it quite a bit. Opera lagged behind due to the info bar on the bottom of the screen, which houses many of the unique options to the browser. Lastly is Firefox, which wastes quite a bit of space in order to keep from looking identical to Opera. Moving away from numbers and into my subjective real-world experience, I've been very impressed with the interface of Internet Explorer 9. By borrowing the Omni bar from Chrome and combining it with the tab bar allows it to both save space and make the browser look and work quite well. I was really surprised at how natural it just feels to use. While I'm still a big fan of Chrome's interface, Compared to Internet Explorer, it really does look a generation behind, so this round has to go to IE9. Now onto the unique features of each browser. Since all five are fairly well matched in speed, and there isn't a huge difference in the interfaces, a lot of the draw for each browser is all about the unique features. All five browsers feature some sort of add-ons or extensions, however the implementations aren't the same. In general, I'm quite impressed with the Chrome extension gallery, as it is easy to navigate and lets you install extensions quickly. It also comes with a plus of not really eating up system resources, however, extensions are for the most part relegated to the right top side of the browser, which is a slight drawback. Firefox, however, does not have that limitation, and it also does have the edge on the amount of add-ons available here, so really it's a toss-up between Chrome and Firefox in my opinion. The unique features move beyond that, however. Safari sports a lot of great eye candy in the form of searchable history and a new tab page, both of which add a lot of class and look great to me. One of my favorite features in Firefox has to be Personas, which now come pre-installed in the browser. Personas allow you to customize the theme of the browser by simply mousing over a theme in the gallery, and all you need to do is click on it to install. It's a really great feature in my opinion, and something I certainly wouldn't mind seeing in other browsers. Opera has accumulated a huge amount of customization and usability options over the years, which are one of its biggest strengths. 
you can spend quite a bit of time tweaking every facet of Opera to your liking as well as enable features such as Opera Unite and Opera Turbo. Internet Explorer 9 is unsurprisingly full featured. My pick for the best feature, however, has to be the accelerators, which give you a variety of options that appear when you select text, letting you translate or map something, for example. You can install more accelerators as well, making this a really, really great and useful feature. As far as Google Chrome goes, Instant is one of the best features I've used in quite some time. Just like Google Instant, when you enable Instant for Chrome, it starts loading websites and searches as you type. It greatly increases the speed of web browsing and is an all around excellent feature. Overall, I was very impressed with all five browsers. Of course, there can only be one winner, and today, that is Chrome. Opera has made major strides in recent months to bridge the gap, and Internet Explorer 9 is nothing short of astonishing when you can consider how abysmal it has been for so long. In the end though, I've got to give it to Chrome for offering the best mixture of blistering speed, a sleek interface, and the great support for extensions as well as the wonderful instant feature.